I haven't filmed the first uphill part of the walk because I was on the phone. Pods, hip and elbow scores are back. You got zero, zero elbows, which are as good as you can get. And then his hips are five, six, which equals 11. And each side is out of 56. So he scored five out of 56 and six out of 56. Um, 56 on each are the worst hips you can get. So he's still got very good hips. Um, so yeah, really pleased. Um, and I'm on the first walk of the day now and he'll go on the second walk of the day. Um, hopefully I'll pick my car up in between. Um, and I think Helen is gonna come up later and have, we're gonna do a little bit of show practice and playing around. Um, Cause I think she's gonna take Raven in this weekend and I'll take Pumpkin in. Um, yeah. So, good start to the day. Um, and Jude can have a bit of free time as we're in the forestry. I've had a nosebleed today. And I've been like really thirsty ever since. And I haven't got my uh, a drink with me. It's like, I got a plan of where I'm gonna go and it's like kind of the shorter route. I know I'm gonna be gasping for a drink. Um, my own fault. That's my own fault that I didn't bring a drink. Not really my fault. I had a nosebleed and it's made me thirsty. This pumpkin's looking for a pipe. But what she did last time we were out was she left it on the rocky road so it's not on this track. So we're going to have to walk up that rocky road so she picks her pipe up and puts it back on this track. You can see her looking for it. Why are you being lazy, Rose? Moving weird. You're moving weird, babes. Better. <clears throat> so yeah, um, my wrist is still sore. Um, the physio confirms what I thought about my foot is that I've um, damaged the ligaments in there. So she's basically said, exercise to what you feel comfortable exercising. Don't push yourself. And we're gonna start physio, like intensive physio sessions soon. I knew it was soft tissue and I knew it wasn't the arthritis. You know, you're starting to learn the difference. Um, but the swellings are pretty impressive. So the glove that's been moving around the rocky road is coming up the hill now with pumps. <laughs> oh, Raven's not going to be in <laughs> Sorry, Raven's going to be in trouble. We got pie. Where are you going to put it? Where are you going to hide it? Might I walk? I should be a lot slimmer than I am. <laughs> oh my god, Raven, how are you minging? <clears throat> so yeah, there's been seen a lot of discussion, not just on like in the Dalmatian world and the groups, but in general on selecting stud dogs and using dogs for stud. And you just see so many people choosing for the wrong reasons <coughs> and wanting to breed for the wrong reasons. Like we all love our dogs, but you've got to quite honestly look at your dogs and think, are they adding the good things to the breeding population? Um, like the three main health tests for Dalmatians 
but obviously they're here in tests and pods full hearing um and then hip and elbow scoring and he's got good hips and elbows um when you look at like where they scored or particularly the companies used for the hearing tests are the companies reputable because if they're not you could be breeding for, or using a stud dog that you think is full hearing and it might not be because of the poor company that tested it now that wouldn't necessarily be the stud dog owner's fault but should we get them retested with a better company to you know carry on continue using the dog instead raven spent ages yesterday with pod chasing birds should i turn around and show you where we are You know, so temperament and health are the two biggest things that affect pet owners because you've got to live with the dog you buy your dog because you want to go on lovely walks and go to the beach and meet up with your other friends who have got dogs and you know have a lovely life you've got to have a healthy dog with a good temperament to do that. You get her, Aria. Aria's got a new collar on. Um, because the last one was looking really scruffy. She just batters her collars. That's quite nice one, isn't it? Oh, looking posh pumps. got a reactive dog, if you've got a nervous dog, chances are a few offspring from each litter they have will be like them and the others will be like the other parent and some might be in between but temperament is passed down. That's how you get lines that are known for having aggressive temperaments, lines that are known for having nervous temperaments. It's because it gets passed down. Um, and I listen to the Functional Dog Breeding Collaborative and I'm on their Facebook group a lot of really good information on there I don't necessarily agree with all of their things like they promote a lot of crossbreeding so like different breeds because you're increasing genetic diversity and they want you to do all the health tests and they promote that which is always good because just because you're crossbreeding doesn't mean you can't health test your dogs. Um, but, um, yeah, their whole thing is promoting health and temperament. And one of the main uh, people on there, she works on studies and genetic studies, figuring out things like temperament and health and stuff. Very, very interesting stuff. So, um, yeah, check out it's the Functional Dog Breeding Collaborative. They've got a website, they've got podcasts. I always listen to the podcasts. Um, so, anyway, I'm going to leave this walk here and uh, see you all soon. Bye. Bet you didn't think you'd see me back. <laughs> I thought I'd just sign on quickly and just show you. Jude does get freedom um, as well. She just spends more time on the lead. Um, and we practice recalls on our long lead before I let her off. Practice them while she's off. And if it takes more than two calls, she goes back on lead and she quite quickly gets the message. Um, but it's just building it up like that. And gradually I'm gonna let her off earlier and earlier. Um, until she's truly in the habit of recalling. Good girl, Jude. Let's see there, she kind of didn't, yeah. 
she came before I asked, but I just quickly said her name and she got a treat. So you're just shaping the behaviour of her coming back. And then she's a good girl. She's such a good girl in nearly every way, except for a little bit of recall. Yeah, my no dog's perfect. You would be perfect if you recalled. 100% dude. No matter what there is distraction. Good girl. See I said her name and we got a recall. Good girl. Whoops, you dropped it. Joe, do you want another one? She dropped it. I'm so thirsty. Right, anyway, I'm gonna leave this here. I really am gonna leave this here now. I'll see you all soon. Bye.